Well, I think the, the, the crust of my question is, yeah, is really, um, how do you balance out? You know, I have the old baggage, so to speak, of times when I used to do that, what I thought was 100% and yes. uh, enjoying it, but having, you know, monetary problems. But and then you knew you were not really doing it 100%. Hmm. Because again, understand, it's all about defining the concept of abundance and how you relate to the concept of abundance. Are you familiar with our definition of abundance? I don't think so. All right. I will share it with you if I may. Okay. Oh, are you paying attention? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> abundance. <laughs> the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. Period. Did you hear anything in that definition that said anything about money? No. Did you hear anything in that definition that said anything about any particular way in which the abundance had to come? No. The ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. That's abundance. Period. Now, it can come in the form of money, but we understand that on your planet very often you are trained to think that money is the only representation of abundance and when you have a definition that focuses you on money being the only doorway through which abundance can come then you're actually closing and locking all the other doorways through which the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it could actually come to you because you refuse to identify or label those things equally as abundant as money you follow me? I do follow. Now, when you allow all manner of abundance to be equal and equally valid, then whatever is the way that is the path of least resistance can come to you, be it money, be it someone gifting you something, being it that you simply synchronistically happen across a circumstance that allows you to do what you need to do, be it any way that it may come then when they're all equal, the one that is the path of least resistance can flow to you without resistance because you're allowing it not to have a specialness that singles it out and focuses an undue amount of energy on that particular way needing to be the way to manifest your abundance. Does that make sense? Yes. And so, in moving forward, now with your new understanding of following your excitement, can you apply this definition <clears throat> to the idea and trust that whatever form of abundance needs to be there to allow you to do what you need to do will be all right, even if it doesn't come in the form that you might expect it ought to? Well, that usually means no. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Oh, I know, that, but yeah. you see, that's the problem. I know. Don't try yeah, so I, I'm one of the people that complicates things more than needs to be. All right, well, so. I guess you find that a help. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, yeah, I guess that's part of my, my, my question was, you know, I was trying to strip away those, yes. those old um, belief systems yes. and uh, things yes. that I have experienced in the past for whatever reason. Yes, well, here's and, the paradox. And it goes back to the issue of saying that you don't want to waste time spending time going through the process. The more you enjoy the process itself, the faster it will go. That's the paradox. The more you're all right with the process itself of discovering what your beliefs are as an act unto itself that's worth having, the faster it will go because the faster you will be using it up by staying right with it, by being excited about having that process. <clears throat> so that in and of itself is an art form. Hmm. The first art form to master is simply being here and now with what is happening. Trusting that what is happening is happening for a reason. <clears throat> Otherwise it wouldn't be happening. So if you are willing to accept that whatever part of the process is happening is happening for the purpose of putting you in touch with more of yourself so that you can expand and get that reflection back from reality of your expansion, then you will be excited about anything the process has to show you. It will actually be experienced as a piece of performance art. And by getting into it and diving into it and being the performance artist and the art piece itself, 
then you will allow it to move very rapidly through you, to process very rapidly, because you're willing to accept everything that's happening as necessary, as a part of the piece, as a part of the art, as something to look at, as something to investigate, as something that will increase your understanding of who and what you are as a co-creator. If you look at it that way and stay in that energy, believe me, very quickly, you will explode in many different directions and your reality will explode toward you with many different things that will support you. Does that make sense? Very much so, <clears throat> yes. Does that help? Yeah, it helps, yes, it's great. Does it answer your question? It does answer my question. Thank you. Thank you.